And here we go, your semi-main event, semi-finals for the Tate Fist Tournament. And I know that sound because I have walked out to this music before with the former foundation piece of Captivating Inc. When I was managing here at King of Sports Wrestling, I found my foundation piece. And it was none other than Concrete Nate Collins. There we go, baby. The old ways have taught Nate Collins a master of many styles of wrestling, a master of many styles of fighting. He is a blue belt in uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He is an amazing, amazing athlete. One of the slipperiest athletes inside that ring. The snake skin fits him very well. He's gonna slither all around that ring and all around his opponent tonight. But again, it's a tape fist tournament match. So all that slithering might not get him anywhere because the person he's facing, Marcelo Franco, is an absolute brawler. And that is what the tape fist tournament entails. It is a brawling type atmosphere. So we'll see if Nate Collins can adapt. Oh, and there's a dangerous man right there. A very, very dangerous man. Marcelo Franco, Team Hatebreed with Ben Bones and Sean Hernandez. He's a two-time Texas heavyweight champion at PWI and AWR, three-time Texas tag team champion with Ben Bones and a one and one time with Sean Her Hernandez under the Freebird rules. This guy is an absolute bombshell in the ring. I have not seen him work yet, but I'm impressed by the size of Marcelo Franco. I'm impressed by what I've seen of Marcelo Franco on the internet. And in person, Marcelo Franco is just as dangerous looking as he, as he appears online. Nate Collins, I hope you're ready for this, my friend. I hope you're ready. Marcello Franco, big brawler, Piros Chingados, lots of punches from, from Marcello. Hailing from Fort Worth, Texas, weighing in at 204 pounds, he is Concrete Knight Collins! Nate Collins has wrestled all over Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Colorado, known all over the place. The closest rule has been waived for this match. It is not sanctioned match. The other rules do apply. No strikes to the eyes, throat, or hair pulls. While ring the bell, come out there. And here we go. We have Marcello Franco versus Nate Collins. Semi main event, semi finals of the Tate Fist Tournament. Ring the bell! Marcello is a brawler, he is a fighter. Nate Collins is a specialist in many different forms of fighting, but this is going to be an absolute test with a big man like Marcelo Franco who does not go down easy. So that Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialty of Nate Collins might not do him well if he cannot get a hold and bring down a guy like Marcelo Franco. But this is about brawling. It's tape fist tournament time, and here we go. Call another collar and elbow tie-up. Test of strength. Nate Collins is not going to win a test of strength with Marcello Franco. Marcello Franco will win that every single time. Nate Collins needs to probably think of some more tactics to get inside the head and get inside 
There we go. A little bit of skill right there. Showing my Nate Cullen big axe handle. He needs to stick and move, stick and move. Nate with a big forearm. Nate with a big forearm. A couple of big forearms right there. Driving Marcello Franco back into the ropes. But you cannot, again, win the test of strength with Marcello Franco if you're Nate Collins. And Nate Collins is trying to win that. And Marcello is showing that Nate is going to have to do something different. Nate bounces off the ropes. And a big count right there from Marcello Franco. Marcello. Is it a light man? So whenever he pounces you like that and puts all of his body weight on you, you definitely get the air driven completely out of you. Those taped fists coming into play. A big elbow to the back of the head. The back of the neck area, I should say, of Nate Collins. Nate now in the corner. There is a, oh, it looks like Marcello Franco trapping the hand of Nate Collins in the turnbuckle and kicking the hand of Nate Collins, the taped fist of Nate Collins. And actually, if I if I look at Nate right now, I am seeing Nate is not has not even taped his fist tonight. Nate is going bare knuckles against taped fist right now. I'm not sure if Nate if that was a smart move by Nate Collins because oh there we go boom boom big chop from Nate Collins a big knee from Franco driving into and driving the air out of Nate Collins and slamming his hand onto the apron. And driving the back into the edge of the ring. Marcello Franco now is in complete control of this matchup. Has wrist control on the outside. Wrist lock, driving another hand into, if you cannot punch with both hands, you cannot win the tape fist tournament. Marcello Franco needs to get Nate Collins back in the ring. The count is on. He's already at seven. The count as reset right now as both men are in the ring. Who's the man? <laughs> Nate Collins, both of his hands have now been injured, have now been compromised. Ooh, and he still reaches out, reaches out with a, with a right, reaches out with a big kick. Having to try to find some other ways to defeat Marcello. Using a forearm instead of the fist as the hands are compromised. Here we go. Marcello rips the corner. And a big clothesline into the corner for Marcello Franco. Nate Collins cannot breathe. He cannot see. Trying to gather himself. He's Marcello Franco has both arms and under the hook. And is just driving fist into the chest of Nate Collins. Who's the man? And a cocky pin, one, and a, just a one count from Nate Collins. Until the Franco on Nate Collins, I should say. Not on gear, bro. Not on gear, bro. Chin lock applied. But the knee to the back. Using his weight and his leverage to slow the pace of this match is Marcello Franco, and he's biting the hand. Biting the hand of Nate Collins. Marcello is a nasty individual. Team hate breed, known all around the state. Here we go, Nate fighting up. Nate fighting up. Nate trying to fight up, but again, an elbow to the top of the head from Marcello Franco. Stops all of that from Nate Collins. And here we go. Setting up Nate. Looks like for a power bomb. Up. And oh, Nate fighting off the top. And here we go. Sunset flip into a pin. One, two. Kick out by Marcello Franco. Big time sunset flip right there from Nate Collins. And Marcello Franco just violently pushing and punching Nate into the corner. Big overhand chops. Big uppercut from Nate Collins. Giving the some space. Trying to gain some momentum. Oh, oh. Big crowd over. Nate. Oh, big jawbreaker to the top of the head. Nate trying to gather some energy, trying to gather some momentum. But Marcello Franco, a flap, a hook like flap to the sides of the head. And Marcello Franco once again on top of Nate Collins. I would say that the stamina factor would come into play and benefit Nate, 
but Nate has not been in control of this matchup whatsoever. Big stalling, stalling suplex. The strength of Marco, of Marcelo Franco. Uh, brute strength, brute power. One, two, and a kick out of two by Nate Collins. I'm not sure if that was the right kind of pin that Marcello should have done. It needs to be more aggressive. One, two, and Nate with lift up, with the kick out, using, using, using a lot of energy on that kick out. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to muster that again. And here we go. The trash talk continuing from Marcello Franco. Not sure if there is respect right here, but the respect is coming right now. Has Nate Collins trying to fight out of it? But a disrespectful foot to the face. Not even a real big kick. More of a, more of just a show that Marcello Franco was absolutely in control of this match. It looks like Marcello Franco is trying for a powerbomb. Oh, big knee from Nate Collins. Another fight out. Big forearm. Nate using ropes and a crossbody. Cross body, cross body from Nate Collins. Nate's got to stay on Marcello. Nate's got to stay on the attack. If he doesn't stay on the attack, Marcello will catch his breath, and this will be over. And oh, top rope cross body. Good God. One, two. Just a two count. Marcello Franco, one of the few times he's been pinned tonight, didn't. Hasn't had to use that much energy all night. He's been in control, but Nate Collins is trying to fire back. Nate Collins off the rope, and another cross body, but Marcello Franco just caught him. Just caught him. Oh, and it looks like, here we go, a big black hole slam. Who's the man? Is that what you came for? Marcello now with the pin. One, two. Nice. The black hole slam usually puts people away. I've seen him put people away on the internet with that, and now the internet will now see yeah. Nate Collins kick out of it. Yeah. Oh my, uh, oh my. Nate yeah. Collins is one tough hombre, but he's in there with the toughest hombre, and Marcello Franco setting up for the end. Here we go. Yeah. This could be the end right here. Nate Collins fighting out. Oh, looks like Nate trying for a backslide. Marcello's trying for a backslide, and a big right hand from Marcello Franco. We saw Mars Lewis taken out with a big right hand like that. I, I, I can assure you that Nate Collins will not be completely knocked out. But if he gets hit with him again, and here's Nate Collins up and around, float over. And it looks like, here we go, what a sleeper. Uh, it's a chip from a sleeper. Nate Collins is trying to choke the life out of Marcello Franco. He's riding Marcello's back. Mar Marcello is, is tapping, and Robert Wells is calling for the bell. Marcello Franco has tapped, and Nate Collins is your winner. He is moving on to the finals of the Tape Fist Tournament. And folks, I saw Martello Franco tap his shoulder three times. He gave up. He conceded the match. Robert Wells made the correct call. If we can have just one moment of your time, obviously a huge match there. You are now competing for the tank this title, sir. You are competing. Yes. The finals mean everything to me. Marcello Franco, he's a big guy. But country kids are done. It's the only way. I must do it. Here I come.